Okay, this is going to be a comparison of running MB client on uh, different devices. Uh, primarily, this is for my benefit in the future, so I'll know what which box they run the best on. Anyway, the first one I'll be testing it is on this uh, Vorky V2. Uh, kind, of, kind of expensive, but it's a very nice uh, Skylake i7-6500 uh, computer, but I'm running Windows 10 on it. And it just had the April update a couple days ago. I'll also be uh, showing this one here. Now, I bought this one three or four years ago for about $100, actually less than $100. So this is pretty well outdated. I'm surprised they still have some to sell. And the third review, I'll be doing it on this uh, Android box. Now, this uses the Android TV OS, so I'll be testing that. And here's a remote that I'll be using in my Windows uh, box. <coughs> it's a 2.4 gigahertz remote. I'm thinking it's a radio uh, frequency RF versus Wi-Fi. And also, if I need to use any typing on either of these boxes, I use this uh, re -mini, re -re mini Now, that works very well. So anyway, that's the devices I will be using. And again, it's going to be a comparison of uh, how Emmy runs on the different devices. So stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's uh, open up Emmy Theater on this uh, Windows 10 computer and see what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't really take that long to load. Now, I can change servers. Now this is the one I'm going to be testing on. That's my Vorky. That was an expensive Intel box. There were servers running on that. <coughs> this one's a Pine 64 box. I can be running on that one. Or here's a, because uh, that was running Linux. This box is running Linux. And this box here is running Libre. So uh, that's a uh, all these are very expensive, inexpensive boxes that are running the uh, server on it. But this time I'll show you Vorky. So Vorky is going to be my client and server, all in one machine. Uh, okay, now I'm going to use my, uh, <coughs> my uh, RF remote. No mouse anymore. So go to the guide. Now the guide data, I have to use uh, Schedule Direct, so I have to pay for the guide data to get this on the MB. So let's try, we'll go to uh, 56 with the PBS because I can't broadcast this too long or I get in trouble and they'll cancel my YouTube video. So I'll show you. But what I, wanted, what I really wanted to test was if it's transcoding. Okay, I'm going to go over here to this. That's for nerds. Okay, now if you look, it's direct play. And display frame per second is 59.944 and zero drop frames. That's what I want to show you. Now, one thing about this Vorky box, even though it's kind of expensive, it does pass through HD audio, high, defin high definition audio. So if I'm playing some uh, movies like this, uh, that has the now this is a blu-ray rip um, again I gotta be quick on this one and I should show uh, okay there's the stats for nerves again it's direct play uh, display frame per second 59.94 and zero drop frames so we gotta get out of this so and again it showed uh, DTS-HDMA on my uh, AV receiver, my Denon audio video receiver. So I do get high definition audio out of that. Right, so that's what I was going to show you. Now, if I go ahead and select one of these, okay, Pine 64, I'll pick that one. Now this one's an all winner. This is probably a four-year-old device. All winner, very low power, low cost board. So I'm going to use that as my server. Now let's see how this client works for that. Now it's probably a little bit slower because it is a very slow device. Latest movies. On now. Let's go to guide. Oh. 
We're going to go down again. I'm using this uh, $7.50 remote. I'm going to Sesame Street. And again, it's a little bit slower loading. But again, what I want to find out is it didn't take too long to start the Why video stream. Okay, again, it's direct play. Frank the Sucker 59.94 and zero drop frames. So in other words, what that's telling me, with this device, I can use a very low-powered, low-cost server. And that's my objective to see what kind of, how low we can go to make these things work right uh, cost-wise and power-wise. Okay, let's go to movies. Try Avatar. Again, we're going to see if it direct plays. And it is direct playing, 59.9 frames per second, and zero drop frames. And I'm getting DTS to HD MA, Master Audio. So I am getting high definition audio on that. So that's what I want to show you. So this client here, this client runs uh, very well on any of these uh, servers. So. But this is kind of an expensive box, $400, $450 uh, Windows 10 computer. It's an Intel, so thank you. Okay, now we're going to take a look at MB running on this uh, $70 Android box. Uh, first, let's go to Live TV, Episodes. Makes it easy to pick out what you want because uh, the icon and the thumbnails are very big. Uh, pictures look good. That way, it, I know what I want to watch. Movies, kids, and news. So that's what's on right now. Okay, now if we go to upcoming, same thing. Episodes, movies. One thing I like about the over the air antenna on the roof, I don't have a whole lot that uh, bewilders me. I don't like a lot of choices. I think a lot of people don't like choices. So I don't have 5,000 uh, selections to pick from. Sports, baseball, I'm just playing there. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's go back there. Now this time we're going to go up to the guide. A little house on the prairie. Oh, wow. Okay. Parking waters, the Goldbergs. Uh, maybe we better pick out the PBS channel because if they don't like me showing uh, live streams of anything, they'll cancel my uh, video on YouTube. So let's try this one. See how long it takes. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. It took seven seconds and running on the windows it was a lot quicker than that. 10 p.m. on great okay. performance opera uh, house. Explore the rich history of the Met Opera's Lincoln Center home along with the cultural life of the 1950s. All right, XO player. She's using XO player, and it is remixing, remixing, remixing. So anyway, it's not uh, direct playing. Okay, so we gotta get out of that. Okay. Now this one, if you noticed, how the heck did I end up way up there? Okay, but if you notice on the Windows one, I had a selection. I could go up to the top and I could pick out what day, uh, June 1st or whatever. This does not have that option. Now, I don't know why it ended up going back to the heading at the top. Okay, it's got tomorrow at 1.30 a.m. 
Now the guide service for this one, I have to use uh, a paid for scheduled direct service to give me this guide using MB. Okay, tomorrow 1.30 p.m., tomorrow 3 p.m. Okay, again, I'm not sure why I did that. Okay, that's what the live TV looks like. Okay, now we go to the movies, continue watching. I will pick the Lone Ranger again. I can't play very long. So that's from there, as it was already selected. Indian. Okay, EXO player again, and it's transcoding. And also I get Dolby Digital, I should be getting uh, high definition audio, but I only got uh, Dolby Digital, so. It's got its uh, shortcomings but for a $70 box, uh, Green Acres, more from season one. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're already in Vorky V2, so it's running on my server, that $400 box, Windows box server, so it's running on that. Well, that's basically what I want to show you. So that's the comparison between um, this one and uh, Android version and the Windows 10 version. So uh, now next I'm going to bring the uh, my little uh, low-powered Intel box, the one I paid $100 for two or three years ago. It's a Windows 10 box, but it does not have the uh, April update to it yet, but I'll show you that one. So, so if it plays just as good as the uh, Vorky does. So that's what I want to show you. Now next I'll bring the other box up and show you that one. Okay, now here is the test on the Vorky. And this was the $100 Windows 10 box. Those hundred dollars two or three four years ago. Again, I'm gonna use the RF that seven dollar fifty cent RF radio frequency remote. And again, since this is a low powered uh, Windows 10 computer, it will not be as fast as that Vorky, but again, it costs one fourth the price of the Vorky or one fifth of the price. So, anyway, let's go down and uh, check the guy again. We're checking to see if it's doing any transcoding. So, we'll open up the guide. Again, I have to pay for the guide data from Schedules Direct. Again, I'll use the PPS channel because hopefully they don't get me into too much trouble. Okay, Arthur. So let's try that. It's PBS channel. Okay, let's see how long it takes to... And then I'm using my HD Home Run tuners from over the air antenna to uh, receive the, uh, the live stream. Oh, well, it didn't take long at all to uh, start playing. That's for nerds. Okay, it's using MPV as a player, direct play, and uh, display frame per second, 59.94, and no drop frames. No drop frames. Okay, so it plays very well. Live TV, recorded TV, it all plays very well on here. Again, now this thing it will play in Dolby Digital, but this uh, Transmart does not pass through HD audio like the Vorky. <coughs> Wait a minute, I wanted to go to the movies. Okay, Avatar. Now this one, again, has HD audio, but this will not play in HD audio. Okay, again, it's player, it's MPV, direct play. Uh, it is playing 59.94 frames per second and no drop frames. Now this, this is connected to my TV, my 4K uh, via my uh, AV receiver, my Denon 4K receiver through my 4K TV. Now, 
when I hooked up to my uh, when it was hooked up to my 1080p TV, it ran flawlessly. But when I brought it out here and hooked that up to my TV, it was dropping frames left and right, no matter what I played. So uh, Doofus on the um, MB4 ohm, he told me exactly what the problem was and how to cure it. So I had to go ahead and change the settings, and everything worked perfectly after that. So. Uh, Doofus from the uh, MB Forum, he was a genius and solved out my problem. But anyway, using this little um, $100 Windows 10 box works perfectly. So that's it. That's what I want to show you. So MB works great on these Windows boxes, no matter how um, low powered they are, these Intel boxes. But uh, it is, you do have to use a mouse, so other than that, it works okay. All right, thank you, and that's my comparison.